Python on hardware. We got a bunch going on. Okay, let's zip. Let's see. There's so much going on. Right yeah, now. we so got to zip through it. We want to just pick one thing. I so. do. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hit a couple things real okay, quick. Okay, great. Um, we already talked about the um, learning system uh, yeah. uh, project bundle. So this is uh, a little bit of a breakdown of what it is and some screenshots. Uh, good work on that. Catney Hackster featured the flowers. This is uh, Winter Bloom uh, synth, and it's powered by CircuitPython. Check out that cool interview. Uh, recap of Scott's deep dive, and then news around the web. Um, Lots you, of Pico projects. Yeah. Like a Python, CircuitPython. But definitely a lot of Pico projects, people are building stuff at the Yeah, Toddbot in the chat is doing a really neat thing with uh, all these encoders and MIDI stuff. So uh, check that out. I was looking at that right before our show started. Um, we just posted up some cool stuff in GitHub. Um, here's a Raspberry Pi Pico video conference controller running, you guessed it, CircuitPython. So um, if you look about what's happening, you'll see a lot of people are taking stuff they already did in CircuitPython and then seeing if it works on the RP2040. Then there was people who were like, I want to do a project, but the, the code isn't available yet for RP2040 unless I use CircuitPython because there's a ton of libraries, code, mm. support projects. So we're seeing, like right now, it's our number one uh, download. Yeah. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but it is right now, the most downloads that we're getting for installing CircuitPython is on the tens or thousands or maybe even hundreds of thousands of Picos. So if you have a Pico and you want to do something, but there's not software yet, or you're just looking for some start uh, help, um, CircuitPython's the way to go. We have things for the Funhouse board, um, the Pico phone that was just on our um, show and tell. Show and tell. Um, so a phone made some with, robots, you guessed it. Lots of key, micro yep. pads. Lots of keyboards. Um, this is a cool uh, cat zoom demo with a Neo Trinky. Um, a uh, Cytron Maker Pi Pico, and it works at CircuitPython. That's over Tom's hardware. Has been covering a lot of what's been happening in the world of RP2040 and more, including they're like it's like the it's like gossip. It's like look, there's chips on the way to Arduino, and it's like ooh, and they have a, a, a shot of that. Um, so this week, the the big story I wanted to talk about, which is at least the big story I think, and I'm just going to go over to the video in a second, is um, these. Circuit Python powered wings. So this was the Feather project that has these flappy wings, and it uses Circuit Python, and they were you know fairy wing like, and um, trust me when I say the world of of cosplaying and fairy wings, it's not all happy rainbows. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we got like the best guide that could be used for anything. We spent a lot of time on it. And check this out. We did not expect these cool, like... She's got wings and a tail. Wings and a tail. And this is, like, kind of one of the best examples I've seen of animatronics. And it just happens to be CircuitPython. And this is someone who does cosplaying, um, I think, for a living. Um, tons of amazing costumes. Uh, that a drivable um, car from Wreck-It Ralph. It was just, like, there's just, it was unending. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, this is the best thing ever. So this is all made with CircuitPython, and if you needed to make adjustments to your code at an event or something, it shows up as a USB drive. You can change the speed, you can change um, how much it pauses. Um, you might want to do something like, oh, I'm doing a photo shoot right now, it'd be great to have the wings do this. So anyways, this is like, I think, like culminates so many things together with 3D printing, our learn guides and all this, and uh, projects like this will even be easier, and we'll talk about that in a bit with our new bundler. And then the other big news um, that just happened right before the show, is we're up to 200 boards. Yay, 200! So, like I was saying before, the number one download right now out of all 200 boards, and what are 200 boards? A bunch of them aren't even from Adafruit. We made CircuitPython so it could go anywhere, run anything. Other people can use it. And so now we have 200 boards. And if you look, one, two, three, just in the top eight, three of the boards are, four. oh, sorry, four. Half, 50% aren't from Adafruit. And, and the reason I'm mentioning stuff like this is because, you know, you have people that are nice about things. They're like, well, why isn't, our, why isn't it all Arduinos? Why isn't it all something, something? Why isn't it all this? And what we want to do is you could take a board and you can run MakeCode on it or you can run Arduino on it or you can run CircuitPython on it. And the developers who make boards, they want to have something that's updated all the time. Maybe they don't want to write an entire, like, almost OS at this point. Yeah. So anytime you update CircuitPython, you get all the new features in the latest that's right. builds. So... How nice is that? So this this came along um, because we thought this was a good idea. We have CircuitPython.org. It's not on Adafruit. And the top boards aren't from Adafruit. And so it's, it's all open source. 
and we have all these contributors. So we think that if you're, it's like one of those things like be so good they can't ignore you. Like I, I understand like people dig in they're like I should always be C C and C plus plus forever, but give it a try because it's a huge ecosystem. And it's fun. It's fun, and we're up to two hundred boards. You can choose any any weird board. Yeah. Any, imagine it. We probably have it. You like ink? Got it. You got want Bluetooth? Got it. Like STM? Got it. And we'll have a lot more. So um, congratulations on the team. Yay! Everybody out there, 200. everybody community member. There's two hundred. We're gonna have two hundred more. And uh, check out circuitpython.org slash downloads and you'll be able to see all the boards, scroll through them fast, and just use the filters. Like Wi-Fi, you can see all the Wi-Fi boards. And with that is that that's this week's Python hardware.